Howdy, Howdy neighbors. neighbors! Welcome to the Fence Bar! I'm Neighbor Sharif. I am Neighbor Sean, coming to you live on Almost Tape from the beautiful Lower Hudson Valley, man, in Westchester, New York. It's storming. It's about to storm. You're going to hear some thunder. Yeah. You might see some lightning. And that's just what we're drinking. Hey. Lightning and thunder. That's it. Episode 7, man. It's a Mother's Day episode. Hey, uh, to all of our mothers, we love you. Happy <laughs> Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. And we have a, a special, one of our guests tonight is, is, is a mom. And also... It happens to be a mother. Happens to be a mother and also happens to be celebrating something else that's uh, a 7. But we'll, we'll go to that a little bit later. Awesome. So, we are here, right, Sharif? Well, this is the fence that separates us, basically. And this is our property. A lot of people don't understand that this actually is the demarcation line that the tax assessor um, makes us uh, decide on. Fucking so, that's man. your land, that's my land. But together, it's, it's a fence bar. bar. It is. You know? uh, neighbor Mike helped us put the bar top on it. Neighbor Mike, are you hey. out there? Hey, neighbor. Hey, neighbor. Hey, neighbor. Howdy, neighbor. Uh, so neighbor Mike helped uh, with the bar top. Yep. Three industries, and uh, the bar top went on. The beers went on the bar top. People kept the neighbors coming over. started coming over. So that's we've what they're met, doing. We've met some amazing people, and uh, basically that's what we're trying to do. Every week it gets better, and we get to meet more people to learn more about Westchester, talk a little bit more about beer, but most of all, just get to just commune, man. Yeah. That's the great thing about what living in Westchester. We've got a, a few quirky things about Ben's Bar that we like to do. The, One the, of them is the uh, dad light or today 100% for Mother's Day the mom light the mom light and your mom lights your easy drinker it's the beer you've got in your hand it's usually full you usually have a lot of it yeah um, so we're doing a uh, Cezanne's today so we're I'm drinking the original Cezanne DuPont and I'm drinking my mom light the Two Roads Workers' Comp, which absolutely is fantastic. Yeah, I would have never known this was a Saison, so I can't wait to talk about Saisons and beer brains. Yeah, absolutely. And then one other thing, the Dudabites, who might be our one of our oldest fans. Our like first, fa- one of our Can first I say fans. oldest fans? We've only done seven episodes? No, no, oldest is not the right. You I don't, don't mean he's old. anybody old. He's old. No, I mean, like, he's like, he's OG. Yeah, he's, he's like OG. OG fence bar. Well, there it is. Um, so he asked us, what is a Paul Pass? Because another thing that we do when you come here to the fence bar is we do Paul passes. Yeah. So your Paul pass is your picture. It's basically it's your passport. It started off as a passport photo, like it's your entrance into the the life of fence bar. It, it also lets people know that you've been there, and by getting your Paul pass, you're allowed to bring one person the next time that you come. Is that? Is, are we going with that? Meh. Yeah, uh, why not? We'll see. I don't know. That rule is uh, to be decided. To be decided. <laughs> <laughs> and the training. It, it's going to be, uh, yeah, yeah, we're in thunderstorms. Yeah, it's it's not snowing, though. We've got these fantastic fence bar jackets, by the way. You can't see them. They have new fence bar jackets. Yeah, they're great for rain. Uh, Letterman they don't have edition. a hood, but... Okay. Uh, I got a fez today, so I'm keeping my 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 head healthy with that. But uh, the reason why Paul Pass is Paul Pass is when we were t- talking about the name, what should be the passport photo be? My brother-in-law from Ohio happened to be here. His name is Paul, and he passed in front of us. And we said we're going to we call went, it the Paul Pass. It's the Paul Pass. So there you go, Dudabides. It's called the Paul Pass because Paul from Ohio was here, and, and he we were doing us. passport pictures, and now they're the Paul Pass. Can't wait for you to get your Paul Pass. You're invited. I Dudabides. can't wait to meet the Dudabides. Yeah. Cool, man. So uh, besides that, neighbor Mike. Yeah, what's going on with Mother's Day? Are, are you uh, having some... Oh, the sidecar. I you got, know what? I, I got bet you he's a, waiting for the sidecar. Oh, he's waiting for the sidecar. special drink today. Yeah, what are we putting in the sidecar? Oh, we got a spritzer. Wait a minute. Uh, for Mother's Day. No. No? No. no but no. Uh, spritzers. Oh, oh, man. Mother's Day. You have a Bloody not, Mary? Man. Is it brunch time for Mother's Day? Or a Bloody Mary? Uh, Bloody Mary? <laughs> Bloody Mary? No. 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 no! no! For Mother's Day, yeah. we are drinking Shauna. What are we drinking? Saison Brada. Saison Brada. That's you, Shauna. That's what this mom chose to be. And, uh, oh, man. And that's our sidecar. It's the other glass that you hold it's in your storming. hand. So you hold your dad light here. And yep. in the other glass, you've got your sidecar. Or you have multiple sidecars. That's and the best part about it. But the sidecar is something that you have a limited amount of. You want to share, sorry, wasn't sharing, or something that is a high alcohol volume, um, or just something that you want, you don't want to drink all at once. It's not a mom life. It's not, not, a, mom it's life. not a mom life. It's either a rare beer or a one of. It's like a $16 bottle of uh, beautiful beer from Oregon. Uh, so cheers, by the way. Cheers. And uh, you know who we should really join oh, this wait. with? Oh, wait, do I get some of Oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, you're the one that, st- we had to make sure we saved some. Wait, wait, wait. FBI! Frick Beer Inspector! Oh, Whoa. check it out, check it out! Whoa. What's the 
Oh, man, it, it doesn't matter with the farmhouse. That's a beautiful thing. Oh! About we'll talk about that on here, Ray. Right. about that. Awesome. So we're going to have neighbor Shauna on from Green Growler. We're going to talk to her. We're going to talk about Saison's. We're going to talk about Beer Report. We're going to get stormed on. We're going to. It's storming right now. Yeah. Thunder and lightning! Thunder and lightning and everything's bright! Welcome to the Benz Bar! So many neighbors. So many awesome neighbors. So many awesome neighbors. Awesome neighbors. That's been one of the best parts about Benz Bar is we get so many awesome neighbors doing amazing things. And we get to learn a little bit more about them than what is traditionally talked about at a fence bar, you know what I mean? Yeah. That, that you can actually learn something from us telling you about that. We can't we can't share everybody, no. all the neighbors with you, but no. today we've got a special neighbor. Holy cannoli. It's Shauna from, from the, the Green, Green Growler. Growler in Croton on Hudson. Come on down, Shauna. Hey, hey. Hi. Hi. How you doing? First of all, uh, for Mother's Day, you picked out this delicious beer um, as your sidecar, and I saved you some. The Saison yeah, Bretta. The Saison Bretta. Why is this your favorite beer, man? You know, I think it's a really nice American Saison. It's done in a very original fashion, and I love, love, love the way that, like, Logston does their Saisons. Yeah. They do something very gentle. It's a really, really nice taste. It doesn't hit you over the head. It's in traditional style, but it's pretty refined. So. It's like a friendly massage. Yeah. It is like a, a friendly, friendly massage. massage. Yeah. Okay. For your, for yeah. Your, for your mouth and for your head. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and we, you were honestly probably uh, uh, more prepared than Sean for beer brains on the saison. What I appreciate that you. She came. She came hard. She came, She knew. She told us all about the saisons <laughs> in the thing. I was comparing. She called them saison. 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 So, you get all French on us. But we've got you over for being a Westchester native yeah. and a Westchester... That's the most important thing. You uh, happen to love great beer, which is awesome, yeah. as we do. And, and Green Growlers in Croton. And we want to tell people what Croton is like. We've talked about what Westchester is like, but what's Croton like for people who aren't from around here? Croton's a little different than the rest of Westchester. We're like kind of cut off a little bit from the, uh, from, from the rest of Westchester geographically and also culturally. We have a really, really strong artistic uh, history. We had a lot of people who came up in the 20s and 30s and started these communist, anarchist bungalow colonies. Woo! Anarchy! Uh, that sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Berlin sounds pretty cool. The, the culture survived, and I think a lot of people who've been coming up lately are people who really appreciate the arts, who appreciate community, who appreciate culture. So it's kind of a great... Well, I love the, and the Green Growler, what you've done for your community, thank you, first of all, you. Uh, because Seven years. you do amazing uh, curation yourself of what beers you're going to take in mm -hmm. so that you can give it to your, your, your uh, community, um, and you've always been exceptional at this, and you've been doing it for... Seven years. Seven, seven years. Congratulations. Thank so, you. Yeah. And it's, it's fitting that it's episode, <laughs> episode seven, seven with yeah. Shauna and Sean well, and Sharif. Out. But yeah. there's there's got to be four other S people here. There's right? going to be at least oh, four oh, others. Yeah. Sam's coming. Oh shit! Sultry <laughs> 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 and Bird. No, I mean I feel really flattered for you to say to me that it's a curation. It really, it's like oh, everything man. is a rolling accident of joy. That's it. That's Ooh. like and the it's best. all it's so all especially worked out because okay. you're also is that a rolling accident of joy? <laughs> Thank you for... Oh, my God, that just hit you me. You know what? Thank you for bringing that That back. hit me. I apologize. Yeah. I don't mean it in no, That was great. I think we need to save that one. <laughs> yeah. Noted. Yes. Um, but we. You know, it's also especially appropriate that um, you're also the first woman in beer that we've had on the show, and it just kind of worked yeah. out. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. And yeah. it is, you know, as someone hey who's girl. not familiar with the whole craft beer world, I've met a lot of dudes with beers. Dudes with beards. I have no beard. Yes. I have, <laughs> and you're not a um, dude. Not a dude. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> what's it like being a woman in the beer industry? You know, it's kind of great. Like, I've always been that kind of girl who's, like, hanging out with the guys, tagging along, like, interested in what's going on with, like, that world. And it's been great. Like, honestly, it's weird. It's good. weird it's good, to be man. the only girl a lot of the time. But you're not always. It's a great no. the community. There's some wonderful. women out here no, tonight. No, I'm, I'm, you know, shout out to Andrea from Kuka and Naptime. Oh, come on, Andrea. I love you. And, like, yeah. shout out to Nikki from, uh, you know, up in Chester. Uh, we're going to yeah. be there next week at Rushing Duck. At Rushing Duck. Yeah, sweet. You know, yeah, there's we like got one of her saisons here, too. Some badass chicks in the scene, so, like, yeah, I'm awesome. happy to be a part of that world. And, and neighbor Amy, I think, has a beer that she... she she's I do! To, um, neighbor Amy! I think it's over here, neighbor <laughs> Amy. There it yeah. is. And we don't have the mint. You have to go get the mint. 
get the mint. I'll get the mint. You do this. I'll do. I'll get the mint. I'm so excited. So this is neighbor Amy's. This is clean from the kettle. It's a Fifth Hammer Brewing Company. It's a special beer, not just because it's pink, but because it was brewed on Women's Day. It was brewed on Women's Day, and they released it for Mother's Day. So. I brought this here for you. Actually, so, Mike picked it up for three, you. It's for so the mothers. Yes. Oh, only for the mothers. <laughs> yes. Yes. Holla! Oh, mother! You're an honorary you know. mother. I'm a mother. Wait, wait, I got a your mama Sean joke. Sean is a mother. I got a your mama joke. It better be clean. Your mama's so beautiful that she gave birth to you. Oh. Oh. Joke. Oh. 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 Oh.
Do you have a green jacket, by the way? No, I'm yeah. I'm here for the hail. Can we get I'm a here. <laughs> no, what the hail? That's I'm what good. we say at Fence Bar. What the Jeff. hail? Are you good? I'm totally good. All right, it's All storming right. out. If not, we'll, I got uh, you, Sean. I'm here. Dude. <laughs> we're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. I got it. Please. So what is uh, what is your most definitive moment involving beer? It can be anything. My most definitive moment involving beer. Um, you know what? It was actually at Beercraft, which is no longer in existence. My Our most smoke. definitive moment. I was with this dude that I was dating who That's I thought right. was super cool. And they had, like, a great selection. But the first beer that I ever had when I went to Europe when I was 20, I was, like, super lucky. Somebody dropped out, and I got their money to go to Europe. And I was, like, not deserving. That's a went. different episode. That sounds amazing. Yeah. Travel on Luciana in Cologne and I had a cold oh, and yeah. I was blown away I really felt like this was a style that I just didn't know and it was very subtle and really beautiful like a Cezanne it's a subtle style yeah. and so I was at Beercraft and I selected for my growler uh, the Kelso cold oh Kelly! shout out to Kelly <laughs> Kelly Kelly Kelly's Kelly. Kelly. Yeah. We are, yeah. We're big fans we're of raising, Kelly. We're uh, braising Brazon and uh, Beef Shank in the Kelly Cauldron right now. Yes, Kelly, wish you were here. And there were a bunch of IPAs on, and I am a hophead. I freaking love the hops. Hop and the life. dude I was with Hop was life. not appreciative, and that was like that the was defining Yeah! Moment. Peace out! <laughs> Mike, drop your house! Peace out! <laughs> you're off the boat! You're yeah. off the island! Get yeah. out of here! That's right. Hey, that's awesome. Um, before you go, we need a tip for people who are coming up to visit Westchester or coming up to visit Croton. What's your Westchester tip for everybody? Yeah. My Westchester tip for everybody is really enjoy the outdoor life. Really enjoy the parks. Really explore those things because we have something beautiful that you don't even know. Get caught out in a storm. Oh my god. Get caught and in a storm. You've got a canopy of trees that protects you. It's Get an beautiful. umbrella. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> get an umbrella. No, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. The You're not going to get an umbrella, umbrella out there. But c- come to Northern Westchester. Come yeah. to Croton. See the beauty that we have. Check have a out beer the, the Green dam. Growler. Check yeah, out the definitely. dam. Check out the dam. So, definitely. Please, please tell everybody uh, Green Growler yeah, look is the big... last stop on the What's Metro the North Hudson line. How it do we is. Get there? Green Growler is the last stop on the Metro North Hudson line before they switch to their diesel engines, which are very, very dirty. You want the electric line. It's 45 minutes from Grand Central. It is right on Route 9 and Route 9A. We're in the middle of it all, right by uh, Croton Point Park. And you should totally come because everybody's nice and the beer is amazing. And that's it. Yeah, that's it's right. Dio would say, Yeah. The last on the line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Croton. We were singing earlier. Oh, I don't yeah. know. Wait, is that yeah. real? Thank you. Electric? Yeah. Thank you, Sean. Wow. Hey, you're going to come back and do Thank beer you. report. Yeah, yeah. you're going to help us rank your uh, beer report. Beer beer report. Beer rank. You're basically coming back. You're coming I'm back. The show's all about Shauna. I'm Sh- doing it. That's it. Yeah. Show. It's a Mother's Day episode. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. I, I was I I had a panic attack that we didn't talk about the seven year well, we'll thing, but that's the beer. We'll 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 All right, seven All years right. is coming up. <laughs> We're going to talk about that. You'll see that beer brain. soon. Beer brain. Beer brain. Beer brain. Beer brain. <laughs> Your mama's so beautiful, she's got a braise on with her saison. Oh, oh my Steve God. Side. The mom jokes. Thanks. Happy Mother's we Day. We are doing a mom's Mother's Day theme, Mother's Day. Uh, Mother's Day theme there. That thank yeah. you, Michael Tables. Yeah, thank you. Really and we are talking about the saisons. Uh, last week we talked about the sours. And yep. the sours, uh, the biggest tip was don't drink a sour thinking you're drinking a beer. Drink a sour thinking you're drinking a different beverage. Think of it as a be wine, as an experience. You're gonna yeah. add, you're gonna add on to your food experience. Yes. And what other? Uh, so we talked about uh, sours being good for spring and summer. Uh, are there any? Sours are year round, man. Year round. Yeah, yeah, I think so. <laughs> Do we have any uh, uh, spring specific uh, beverages? Uh, are we talking about saisons? Well, I uh, mean, saisons are why we're talking now. Traditionally, this would be a summer beer, but uh, we've been. Un- Seasonably warm uh, here in Westchester the last couple of weeks, and also screw the calendar, people. Uh, saisons are now year-round. You know the American brewers have taken over this uh, once looked over style of beer, which is a uh, it's a, it's a Belgian French wait wait hold on uh, a second farmhouse ale is is a saison uh, an ale. Or a lager. It's an ale. Okay. It's it's traditionally a, a pale ale that's going to have a very dry finish. 
Yeah. Um, you are going to also have a lot of notes of fruit um, and the nose from the esters. Um, a little spiciness, uh, yeah. sometimes from spice, a lot of times because the yeast is nice. Oh, uh, it's storming out here, man. Yeah, it's always storming out Four here. Four miles so away. Storming. Four miles. <laughs> yeah. Four miles away? Have yeah. we counted We're the counting lightning? It. We're good. And, uh, can someone keep track of the lightning? So anyway, the with, the, with, with the saisons, man. Like, wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second, Sean. Yeah. Um, so, uh, uh, Shauna was here earlier, and I was matching what you had told me about the saison and what Shauna told me about the saison. How'd I do? And you did really well. Right. Shauna, Shauna was definitely much more prepared than you were. True. Um, it's very true. You know, but actually, everybody's more prepared than I am, because I just like open up my mouth, and whatever happens, happens. Yeah. But the the the, the common thing was that a saison was a workman's beer, and it was basically uh, a drink that the the farm owners made to for the workers for the workers all right so yes in, in, in its true sense a saison would be made in the winter months using the less leftover harvest uh, cereal grains or any type of uh, Bill, are you paying attention fer fermentable uh, uh, um, like rye or whatever it is whatever, whatever grain left over at whatever the, grain at the end get. of the season but you're not going to use your most expensive stuff you're using the worst because this is the beer that you're going to make during the winter months that's then going to ferment using the uh, the farmhouse yeast that is local to that farmhouse yep. big part of farmhouse and then uh, they're going to drink it during the summer months while they're working because. Back in the day, 300 years ago, they didn't have potable water. They didn't potable have water means running water, so they didn't have potable? running water. They basically had to they make... They didn't have Poland Springs, people. Mm -hmm. They had to make a beverage of uh, the, all the throwaway stuff yeah. to uh, hydrate the farmers Correct. and give them a little buzz so they're enjoying themselves while they're working. I mean, the buzz there. just happens to be, I think, what the Trappist monk wanted to have happen. Yeah. And I love that about religion. It's about the only thing. Anyway, it's good. God is 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 good. Um, but but yes, now that uh, the style of saison kind of went away from our map uh, as a, a, a global beer drinking community in, in the 50s, 1950s, and then it was sort of brought back in by this renaissance of not only classic Belgian breweries that were still making the style that were getting notoriety again, but also this new wave of American uh, brewers that embraced uh, what a farm ale or a saison was. Yeah, and I think they just got tired of making like IPAs or whatever. They're like, we uh, want to do something it's before crazy, that. It's before and that. something that you know. It's uh, one of the things was you know, it's all about what you can get like in your environment, in your community, which is very fence barish, it, it very is. neighborly. So the whole idea is like when uh, uh, Phil Markowski, who was with South uh, Hampton Public House, he wrote the beer, the book about farmhouse Ooh. beers. We have the two beers here, don't we? Uh, we do have a workers' comp here, but but we don't have the Southampton uh, classic one. But he's now at two rows. Uh, but anyway, he actually wrote the book about farmhouse beers, and it's uh, when he asked like the, the Belgian breweries like Saison Dupont, um, what does a Saison mean? They basically came out with a very loose interpretation of a very dry pale ale that's going to have a high attenuation. You're going to have a little bit of esters of pepper and fruit, but it's uh, it's a, it's a balanced beer that can be consumed um, without any alcohol like like heightness. Yeah. It's a balanced, beautiful, dry beer. Yeah. And it all started off with just finding everything that you had left over. And we're going to get into farm life, but whatever you had left yeah. over that can be You got to use everything. Right? You got to use everything. And just throw it all in there. It's called an, an all in stew. And then whatever what the yeast that you have is going to be uh, the yeast that's been uh, over the years as it has become its own strain in your farmhouse. Awesome. So, so yeah. what, what kind of. Uh, what kind of saisons can we give to our moms, and why are we giving saisons? Saison for your mom. Saison for, for your, your mom. <laughs> Brought to you by <laughs> Ring Growler uh, <laughs> Protein. Yeah. That's uh, your industry. The saison that uh, I would say we would start with is stateside uh, or cellar door from Stillwater Artisanal. Yep. Uh, Brian Strumpke has been kind of the leading badass in saisons for almost a decade, and now he's canning it. Um, but this is a beer that I think. Lots of different people's palates are going to want because it works well with food. It also is reminiscent enough I'm of, so of many wine. People. I'm seeing so many um, people out there that want their, I want, right, yeah, they they want, want their cars. palate. I want their palate. Side car in this. Yeah. <laughs> but so, ooh, oh, 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 that's the worst uh, side car. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't judge me on my side car. <laughs> 
Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, Shauna, you're the only one that can actually get to me. Here we go. <laughs> Shauna. Come on. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Big ups to Levon. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
He brought everything. He brought seven different hop rattles together that never touched each other. So Chief is really the chief. Chief yeah. brought torque wrench, and we got torque. We have torque wrench. Yeah, Chief is the chief. I don't, I, He's so got power tools. That's all I need. Sean, one of the funniest <laughs> things is Sean knows the chief. I don't know any of these people, and so I the just chief. meet the yeah. I meet Chief. You and the chief? I'm just like. <laughs> All right. Chief, you're the guy who fucking makes it all happen. He's a lovely guy. He's a he's great guy, man. Really Jeff O'Neill's just a nice dude. He's yeah. a nice dude, but he's also very, very um, astute about the chemistry of beer. Okay, so, so if I want to have the audience with Jeff O'Neill or Chief or not the Chief, it's what dates are going to be? How do I get my tickets? <laughs> Where do I need to go on Green okay. Growler's website? It's Is it coming up. It's coming, coming up. up on the website. You're going to be able to buy tickets in the next couple of days. What and price it's point are we looking at? We're looking at something about 40 bucks, but we're going to do a pairing, and you're going to talk to Ooh. Jeff. So you're talking about a four-course, five-course pairing. The chief. Wait, with is the that food with the and beer? And the made it, and some food. And we're going to talk about where have IPAs come in the last seven years. What's the, what, like, what's the history of it, but what has the last Shana, seven have years done? Have there been a seven lot years. of changes Major. Oh in the God. last seven years? Oh, my God. Major changes. It's Okay, dry hopping was not a very serious thing until Jeff O'Neill started doing that with Flower Power. And when Flower Power came on the scene, it was a major, major shift in the East Coast style. Another major, major shift in the East Coast style was the New England IPA. And Jeff, I think, makes probably the seminal beer in that style, which is the wrench. Yeah. And they're like... We get Jeff at Ventsmar. We've been we will. in industrial totally art. Should. We will. Uh, yeah. We've been in industrial He's got a lot art. of kids, and they're... they're <laughs> that's right. No, we, <laughs> don't don't we all? Oh, no, don't no, we sorry. all? We did no. invite him, and he was like, I got a softball game tomorrow. <laughs> it doesn't, well, it doesn't matter, because the fact is, he'll be at the Green Growler, and you can buy your fucking tickets. But yeah. he'll be Boom! there. Boom! No, After the party at Ventsmar. Before, and greeting the people and talking, and then we're going to have a serious discussion about, like, what has the technology been that's changed this year? What has the so horticultural great. changes been that has changed this awesome. year? It's so, so in, like important. so we're gonna do one of those every single month. So when for does seven it start? Months. That starts in June. So we June, start June day of 20, the week. Six? June twenty sixth. And it's Matt Campbell's day. gonna be at every it's single one. Right. And Matt Campbell's gonna be at though? every single one. It's gonna be Fridays. Yes, Fridays. And Sunday. It's Depending on what is good for the brewer. We're also going to have Andrea from Kuka and Naptime. She's going to talk about women in the brewing industry. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Hey, ladies. The folks As from I love Threes are going to come Ooh, and talk about threes. changes. Threes. Constant threes. disappointment. Oh, I love... Constant disappointment, um, Threes. Constant always. definition of insanity. Everything. They are wonderful, and they actually, Matt Levy is sort of like one of the, like, uh... He's still Captain Lawrence. He's Westchester. He is Westchester. (laughs) And, and, but the thing is, he's a savant. He really started so young. And he people is didn't making... Because he's a good-looking dude. People didn't take him serious? He's oh a my good-looking dude. People good didn't looking take him dude. serious. No, what? but he's a... So <laughs> Chief poached him from Captain Lawrence. Poached. Poacher! I mean... Oh, let's not get into He offered details. a wonderful no. opportunity. No! Scott and Jeff are good friends. There's he's, no Exactly. Poaching. No, no, no. This was a mutual, let's develop uh, this let's talent. Let's develop this talent. Exactly. Ooh, and then he left the MP skill to go to Threes. And Threes is... Killing it yeah. with their yeah. lager style. Three I mean, industries. Lager three style. industries. He's just a like balanced. He, he makes balanced beers. I mean, he's a uh, he's uh, he's like you said. He's a uh, he's a savant. He's a real genius, and I love his beers. He's also a nice guy. They also do modern dance at threes. They do modern and dance. Greenpoint. <laughs> Not Greenpoint. Uh, Park Slope. No, the Greenpoint one oh, also. They, that's right. They have. Oh, oh, oh never mind. Oh, never mind. Your beer brain. <laughs> Satellite Boom. location. Yeah. Cheers. 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 All right. Well, that's beer brain. <laughs> awesome. Show beer that brains. <laughs> one of our best beer brains. Oh, we need to fill up Dad's <laughs> light. Not beer brains. No, it was a uh, beer, beer report. Beer report. Beer report. Beer report. Beer report. <laughs> Cheers. Beer Bob report. Light. Cheers. Your Cheers. mama's so light. Oh. So we're back out here with uh, Farmer Phil for Farm Life. Uh, our what's episode. Up, hey. Yeah. What's How up, are man? you, man? I'm excellent. So. Woo! Good to be with you guys. Good to have you here Ooh. again. Oh, okay. That's an empty one. That's a prop. That's good. Um, so last week you were out here. You were talking about um, what was going on at the farm. Cinnamon. And there was a lot going on with cinnamon, and um, 
there was just like so much going on at the farm, and we have to really get into what farm like is like in Westchester, and um, yeah, we we just can't forget about what the farm is. Like we are so happy to have you as a as a neighbor, you know, for what, the work that you do. But we are learning as a urban as suburbanites what that means, yeah. you know, to have a I farmer be part of it. The first thing we have to cover is the difference between a rancher and a farmer, and. Um, I'm not sure what you associate yourself with more. Ooh, that's um, a good question. But I know there is a difference between ranching and farming, or a rancher and the farmer. We've been calling you Farmer Phil. Yeah. Is that appropriate or inappropriate? Yeah. No, I'd say it's appropriate. Okay, all right. You know, I I work in a, a mixture of natural environments, so I can be considered a farmer. I, I, I see ranchers as working on larger tracts of land. More open pasture, you know, thousands. Would that be? Would would a ranch be more towards like animals or yeah. stock? Yeah. Okay. You know, just driving cattle and sheep long distances to graze and doing lots of lots of head of animals. Like you know, we're in Westchester County. There's not much the space. Terrain, yeah. there's, the terrain just doesn't enable you to really graze on acres of land that are contiguous with no fencing or anything like that. The Rockefeller Preserve is nice. And all. The Rockefeller Preserve is, is very is. rocky. It's, yes. it's yeah. very rocky, and that's what the Hudson Valley is. It's yeah. a very rocky terrain. Is is one of the main differences between being a ranger and being a rancher? Ranger space. or rancher? Yes. I love that. Is it all about space? Yes, yes. So as like the farm ranger, I'm trying to focus What's your on title? I'm the ranger. I'm the ranger. You're the ranger. But the, the only reason Rangeland he's not the manager. rancher is just because there's not enough space for you to be a rancher. Basically, like oh. so. Oh, not a rancher. What we what it's we Westchester. what we County call in, in Westchester. Taxes. Taxes. We call in Westchester. I guess we call like a grazer somebody who manages cattle and sheep on the land. Small spaces. They, they're grazing. Yeah, they're just grazing. We're awesome. grazing the land. We're keeping. Pastures down and encouraging. Yo, can you, you know, get some goats in our backyard? Plants. We get the cud. We got a lot of cud back here. <laughs> we, like, it, they would blow that out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. what I'm talking yeah. about, man. There were two things days, about two, two days of three goats. There were things about. Um, I remember a while back seeing like uh, articles about uh, people having goats or ducks on their land to like uh, kill the slugs and clear yeah. out things. You guys have a bunch of ducks going on right now. You Dude. guys pick them up from the postal yes. service. Yeah. You have to pick them up from the post office. Exactly. And so wait a minute. What is the post office? Dude, it's fucking dramatic. You have to go to the actual post office. Which which post office branch do you go to? Terrytown. Terrytown. And he picks up a thing of ducklings, right? Yes. Are they still moving around? They're 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 alive, dude. They're They're alive. It's like a box of ducklings for you. So it's moving. It's like a a little box of like... Yeah, man. I mean, you know they're in the post office when you hear a bunch of chirping going on. The ducks are here. So how does the mailman and woman feel about that? They just through. immediately call you because they just want the ducks out of there. <laughs> <laughs> it's creepy time. Call yeah. 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 So uh, Sam told us that the ducks on uh, the farm uh, they can't fly away because they're like hefty. They're full. Right. They're uh, overfed. Is they what can, I can we have a uh, fence bar ducks or? We have two ducks, by I'm the just, way. I'm just curious. I can, I can Bring some to the annex. Like, I don't want you to Bring some ducks to the no, annex. Like, can we yes, like uh, have logistically ducks. have ducks here? We Will have two they ducks be right okay? now. Turn your woodshed into a coop. Yeah. Cool. Ooh, we're good to go. Ooh, we'll talk about that. that That's up. where we hold awesome, all of man. our rare the last wear. So what's going on in the farm <laughs> this week, dude? <laughs> well, uh, we're getting the ducks ready to get outside. Um, they're about four weeks old, so they're ready to get They're so cute. They're yeah. cute as fuck. What do they do? Do they manage any kind of land, or are they doing anything for the farm? Are they just... They must be, right? Well, yeah, so we're, we're putting them on some uh, tracts of land that have deficient uh, nutrients that mm. the duck manure is able to, uh, oh. like, come back and amend. Nice. Holy so, cannoli, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah, so it's nothing's by cool. chance. Everything no, is calculated. calculated. Yeah, for sure. So the dust, it's a science. You know, we're trying to make sure the land is getting what what it needs, and we're achieving our goals. It's kind of like holistic management. <laughs> nice dude. Yeah, I love it. That's what I'm so glad you came out yeah. today. Uh, yeah. I know you were moving from downstairs to upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Are you moving on up? 
<laughs> Moving on up. Yeah! yeah. You, got a you got a window? Yeah. You got a window? Hey, by the way. More natural light. I gotta, tell, light you light light. I gotta tell you something. I gotta tell you something. Matt Campbell is not here today, even though he is a sponsor. His you now hold the streak oh. for Ben's Bar. Yeah. I don't know you what it is, but... Big ups. Like big ups. You four. ran out of gas. No, you no, no. Four. You guys four? took that ran out of gas thing to... Like, literal. Literal, yeah. yeah. Uh, you just retired. I'm, I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought he literally ran out of gas no, no. on, like, 117. Yeah. I was like, oh, man, I'll get a AAA for you. That's awesome, man. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll talk about Fence Life uh, in two weeks. Dude, yeah. thanks. Fence Life or Farm Life? Farm Life! Farm! Oh, I'm so bad with the names. It's the, the same thing. Best okay. life of farm life for yeah. one of the That's same, right. my friend. Good right. to see you, Fred. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> this is a tough show to rank because we haven't opened up everything. But I will say, Saison Dupont is to me the Number perfect one. Saison. It is a balanced uh, farmhouse ale. It's an OG. Um, they moved from a green bottle to a brown bottle. And Shauna, actually, there's consensus she, over here. <laughs> she hasn't had it yet. No, I haven't. No, but she told me that that's number one because... Sean says so. Oh! <laughs> wow. And then we have Transmitter. This guy was so alive, the G2, that it blew up. We took the cage off it. Then we got uh, the Saison Man. Man. And that was freaking un. Up the this was a Mother's Day episode. No, well, no, the the other transmitter we just mothers opened up, men. and it was amazing. We also have a rushing ducks. What's the Bowley Saison. Oh, my yeah. God. We a still got favorite. something here for sidecars after this. And, and this whole thing's going to change because we're not... It's all going to change. After, because uh, we also haven't opened up the Little Opal. This is a... Even though it's yeah. a tart ale. Like, there's so much good stuff here, man. Saisons, just do yourself a favor. Go to the Green Growler in Crowton. Yeah. Crowton on Harmon. Croton on Hudson. Croton <laughs> 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 Harmon Station. Croton Harmon Station. Croton yeah. Harmon Station. Yeah. We'll always yeah. to that, but that we'll discuss at another yeah. time. Yeah. You got some six saisons, though, right? We have some six saisons. We do that. I Get love saisons. Get some for saisons. your moms for this weekend. What's it? May, yeah. uh, May, what's the date? Uh, it's this Sunday. Sunday? This Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, exactly, exactly. We're doing a crazy brunch, by the way. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing a brunch. So Let's come and hang with us. Woohoo! Awesome. Hey, so thank you to 13. Campbell Meats. Thank you for Hogboy. Campbell Boy. Meats, Hogboy. Thank Boy. you for Shauna. Gr Shauna Green Growler. Thanks for all the guys Whoa. from Sing Sing who... Yeah. Sing Sing Kill! Oh, uh, Lex. Uh, Lex, yep. He's the smoker. Yeah, we're going to have an awesome episode eight. I hope this you guys This is the greatest back. thing. If you think we suck, come back. <laughs> if you don't think we suck, come, come back. Come back. Yeah. And yeah. if nothing else, make sure that you treat your neighbor like you want to be treated. Because love thy neighbor. Mike, Mike, Mike. Mike, Mike missing. And as the alchemist says.